First, let's pay homage to the lineage gurus, homage to the Venerable Mang Liang Ming, homage to Master Sakya Zheng Kong, homage to the 16th Kamapa, and homage to Master Dukdan Daoji. Homage to the three jewels of the altar and homage to the main deity today, Namo Maitreya Bodhisattva. Sumo, Dutan Siti Rinpoche, all Dharma masters, Dharma educators, Dharma teachers, Dharma instructors, Dharma assistants, temple directors, and all disciples present here and over the internet. So our VIPs today are the Chief Secretary of Taiwan Government, Mr. Zheng Peifu and Mrs. Zheng. And from Academia Seneca, the Academian, Ms. Uh, Zhu Siyi and Mrs. Zhu. Xiangling Xiangtong uh, Chinese Medical Hospital, um, the head of the hospital, Dr. Liao, and Trivida School Scholars Group and Medical Group. And uh, media host and entertainer from Singapore, Miss Even. My university, Saint Classman, Zhu Jin Sui, Sian Sen Ji Fu Ren, Mr. and Mrs. Zhu Jin Sui. Hua Hong Kong Zhe Zhong Hui Zhai. The president of Lotus Light Charity Society, Mr. Chang Lin, director of the Taiwan area Lotus Light Charity Society, Mr. Li Chun Yang, rep to the council person, Chie Mei San, Ms. Producers for Canadian Sound System of CTITV Taiwan, Ms. Rebecca Xianqing. And for the Great Perfection Dharma Hebaja Exposition and Two Messages of Tantayana, the producers, Master Lin Yi, and the host, Dharma Sister Pei and for Lamde and the Sutra of Perfect Enlightenment, the host Master Lian He, Master Lian Jia, and Master Lian Hai. My sister, Lu Seng Mei Ni Si. My sister, Lu Guo Yin Ni Si, and the Hasana. And thank you to Fa Song Chapter for their donation of $100,080. So today is the Chinese New Year, and it is the birthday of Maitreya Bodhisattva. So here, I would like to wish everybody a good New Year, a happy New Year. Chinese New Year or Spring Festival.
就是这个春节，这个才是真正的一年啊。在真正的意义上来讲起来，农历就是讲今天才算是真正的过年。So this is the real New Year in the lunar calendar. 今年是鸡年啊，祝福大家。So， 大吉。So here, I would like to wish everybody a great, <coughs> auspicious, and bounties. That on the year of the rooster, uh, all you have is. Uh, good news and rare opportunities. So you, need, you have to come to attend the Maitreya ceremony. So please don't miss the opportunity. Today is also Maitreya's Bodhisattva's birthday. So let me sing a birthday song. So we sang for Maitreya Bodhisattva to wish him a happy birthday, and we hope that Maitreya Bodhisattva would be happy and bestow upon all participants all that we wish for. So first, let me wish you win the good lotteries. And you, you have good business. And then uh, your income will multiply. And there was the sutra called. It's the business um, sutra, or it is like uh, going out uh, mantra. So as you leave your front door, there's Kuan Yin Bodhisattva. To the left, there's Buddha. To the right, there's Buddha. In front, it's Buddha. There are Buddhas, Buddhas, Buddhas everywhere. And my business uh, will do really well, and all my products are sold out. I usually use use Taiwanese. So come, come. So open the door. Go, I see the Guan Xi Pu Di Sao. 
most helped us so many Wisdom helped us so many people. South helped us so many people. Buddha, 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 Buddha. Uh, my third item is finish. <laughs> so, so, ah, uh, so, ah, uh, uh, so, my one. Ah, thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. How do you do? In Japanese, English, Thai, Korean, Indonesian, Malay. Spanish, in Portuguese, Mayo, in French. <laughs> so today we had the Homa of Maitreya Bodhisattva and it happened that today is his birthday. Those having birthdays on Chinese New Year's is Maitreya Bodhisattva in Tantrayana and in Taoism. Taiyan Tianzhu? Oh, I can't hear anything. I can't hear the Chinese. Maitreya is first in line. The first in line to become Buddhahood. It's my Maitreya Bodhisattva. And in Indian, in Hinduism, there are two primary lines. One is Nagarjuna, Aryadeva, which is Madhyamaka school. In Tantrayana, it's Madhyamaka. Nagarjuna and Aryadeva. So we have the Zhongguan chapter, which is Zhongguan, which is like the middle view or middle way or Madhyamaka. And Maitreya Bodhisattva is a Sangha in Vashu and he's considered to be of the Yaga Ch Yogacara school. And in from Tang Dynasty, the first one that went to India to Nalanda University is the great master Xuanzhuang, which is the key person in the journey to the West. He went to Nalanda University and to learn a Yogacara. So 
he has the lineage of Yogacara. The consciousness of Tathagata. So, if you open the, the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, touch a body and consciousness, and then Alaya consciousness, and then the Immaculate consciousness, with no contamination whatsoever, the kind of consciousness, and that's Tathagata. So, there's Tathagata inside Tathagata that's considered to be of the Yoga Chara school. So, the great master Shri Zhuang went to India and learned Yoga Chara. And, then, and he opened a great debate where everybody can ask a question. And he brought and he came back to China with ability and nobody ever won over him because nobody debated him. Thinking because he was seated up high, inviting everybody to debate with him on the Yoga Chara. I really apologize today because the Chinese cannot be heard. The Nalanda University in India. <coughs> and all the scholars there. And when they heard that they came from Nalanda University, nobody dared to debate. So he won. There was a joke that when the monkey king <coughs> let money and wanted to borrow money from the monk Xuanzong, the monk said, what? You want money from me? You want to borrow money? Let me discuss with my wife. And then the monkey king said, that, But I know you have no wife. Because you're a monk. You have not been married. You have no wife. So he asked the monk, So, Guru, you have no wife. Right? And then the monk replied, That's why there's nothing to discuss. So the great master of Oh, white piece of papers, 
and Shin Zhang thought it was just the play of magic. And he tried to read it uh, over the candle. Maybe the writing would appear. Or oh, maybe put it in water, but there's still no writing. He turned out that the highest, the greatest guru that transmitted to him was the book with no writing on it. So Sakyamuni Buddha, Om Moni Moni Sakyamuni Mahamuni Sakyamuni. So Moni means the benevolent one. So Maitreya Bodhisattva entered into Samadhi and he was called the compassionate one. That's why. He's called the compassionate one. And Sakyamuni Buddha was called the benevolent one. <coughs> so in the future, when he becomes a Buddha, he would be called the Maitreya Buddha. <coughs> There was a legend that in where prior to coming to Pisapha no? or Visvalpu Buddha, that there were two disciples, Sakyamuni Buddha and Maitreya Buddha. And Sakyamuni Buddha looked rather uh, dumb. Well, I couldn't say that. But Maitreya Bodhisattva was very smart and he had attainment long ago before Sakyamuni Buddha. But Rishwapu Buddha observed the affinities of Sakyamuni Buddha and Maitreya Bodhisattva. And he found that Sakyamuni Buddha had the closest affinity with the Saha world and he could become the first founder of Buddhism in the Saha world because he had a close affinity with the sentient beings of the Saha world. So he asked Sakyamuni Buddha to descend upon the Saha world first and then later on that would be Maitreya Bodhisattva. So there was the sutra on Maitreya Bodhisattva descending upon the Saha world. And Maitreya Bodhisattva also has a sutra about going to the Tushita heaven. Actually, Maitreya Bodhisattva attained Buddhahood first. But Sakyamuni Buddha had the closest affinity with the Saha world. So the one with the affinity it comes first. So that's why Maitreya Bodhisattva is second. So that's the authoritative uh, Buddha with great privileges. But, and Maitreya Bodhisattva is also first. One is the benevolent one, the other one is the compassionate one, they're the same. So in Tibet, they call Maitreya Bodhisattva as Champa Buddha. Champa Buddha. Right? In Tibet, there was Champaran is to as to make offering to Maitreya Bodhisattva. And the mudra is the Dharma teaching mudra. So 
So the inner uh, Dharma teaching mudra and the outer Dharma teaching mudra. Let me show you. So the inner Dharma teaching mudra and the outer Dharma teaching mudra. So Maitreya Bodhisattva will attain Buddhahood in the future. And there is a sutra called Maitreya Bodhisattva descending upon the Saha world to attain Buddhahood. <coughs> and also the three uh, dragon meetings. That alone is quite incredible. Because at that time, <coughs> the first meeting, the second meeting, and the third meeting of the dragon flowers, the sentient being saved during that time would come to billions of them. Especially the third meeting. And with one statement, Namo Buddhaya. Just this one, Namo Buddhaya. Then you would have attainment and you would be guided by Maitreya Bodhisattva, Maitreya Buddha, to go to his pure land. And all sentient beings would uh, be salvaged completely. So he's the future Buddha, the authoritative Buddha with great privileges, who will help or salvage countless beings, and all would be safe and salvage with just one statement of Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya. With this one statement, you would have tenon. Why? With only one statement, but with the bright light of Maitreya Bodhisattva shining, all, all the sentient beings' heart would open like the lotus blossoms. Like that song, the seven lotus blossoms, and then when they open, then you would generate lights and you would follow Maitreya Bodhisattva. The song, seven lotus blossoms. Now you can sing, but I cannot. I don't know the lyrics, but with the lyrics, then I know how to sing it. So can you show me the lyrics? Then I have to song I have to sing. Sumu said on the Chinese New Year, uh, don't be so serious, just take it easy. Shangwatoran 我盼着和平的鲜花在人间盛开，我盼着没有痛苦，没有悲哀。嗡阿吽贝扎咕噜贝，悉地吽，嗡。
อาหงเปจจาคุรูเป็นมาสิติหงอมอาหงเปจจาคุรูเป็นสิติหงอมอาหงเปจจาคุรูเป็นมาสิติหงวัวคันต่าสุยเริ่มมันสิ้นจงเดินหัวแก่วัวคันต่าเทียนดีจีเจนชูชูโยอันวัวคันต่าเฮียนเดียนหัวใจเริ่มเจ็บสังขารวัวคันต่าไม่เอาคู่ทงไม่เอาเปรียนอมเป็ดจากกุลูเป็นมาสิกิหงอมเป็ดจากกุลูเป็นมาสิกิหงอมอาหงเป็ดจากกุลูเป็นมาสิกิหงอมอาหงเป็ดจากกุลูเป็นมาสิกิหงอมอาหงเป็ดจากกุลูเป็นมาสิกิหงอมเป็ดจากกุลูเป็นมาสิกิหงอาสุดใจสุดใจเลยคือ这个气都喘不过来，这不好意思不好意思，唱的不好，请大家原谅。那我再唱一首，那个《我们的百米红》啊，家乡。嗯、我的家乡在日喀则，哪里有条美丽的河？阿妈妈说，牛羊满山坡。都是因为菩萨保佑的。蓝蓝的天上，白云朵朵，美丽河水换清波。雄鹰在这里暂时飞过，留下那动人的歌。โอมมานีมานีเป็นมีหอมโอมมานีมานีเป็นมีหอมโอมมานีมานีเป็นมีหอมโอมมานีมานีเป็นมีหอมโอมมานีมานีเป็นมีหอม Om Mani Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Mani Padme Hum. My hometown is in Rukhza. Where is there a beautiful river? 阿妈那说，牛羊满山坡，都是因为菩萨保佑的。蓝蓝的天上，白云朵朵，美丽河水换清波。雄鹰在这里暂时飞过。留下那动人的歌。Om Mani Mani Padme Hum. Om 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 Mani Thank you very much, thank you very much.
我平时都唱的, the seven lotus blossomings. I usually sing it really well, but as soon as I sit it on this Dhamma throne, then I don't sing it very well. It's hoping that all human beings would have their seven lotuses blossoming, opening and wishes that all human beings would have love in their hearts. It wishes that the flowers of peace would uh, blossom and thriving and it wishes that every human beings have no sufferings and no griefs. That's wonderful. That's the benevolent of Sakyamuni Buddha and the benevolence of Maitreya Bodhisattva. It's all the same. And in the future, if you are the primary supplicants for the ceremony today, you have very close affinity with Maitreya Bodhisattva. The primary supplicants have affinity with Maitreya Bodhisattva, that you, would, you are destined to become Buddhas in the future during the three meetings of the dragon flowers and you're just destined to meet Maitreya Bodhisattva. Today uh, we will continue to talk about Lamdi. <coughs> so here, it talks about Lamdi and the verse, The mind relies on the four altars of the self-body, elucidating the equal four bodies and four kinds of teachers, conferring the four empowerments and teachings, the way and the realization. And the mission of the school is to practice the Dharma, to attain the four fruitions on four levels. In the past, I have read about uh, the development stages of Tantrayana of Guru Zongkapa. And there were four, four phenomena of the four stages. The masters, do you remember? Any one of you? There were four. Anyone remember? Oh, there are the Kama Yoga, Kriya Yoga, and the Yoga Tantra. And the highest yoga tantra. There are four sections. In the Kagyupa, the first is the yoga of concentration, <coughs> and second is the yoga of renunciation, and third is the yoga of one taste. And fourth is the yoga of no practice, and they are all interconnected. So, 
Kama Yoga, Kriya Yoga, Yoga Tantra, and the Highest Yoga Tantra. It, they were written very clearly in the development stages of Tantrayana. And the mind should be in one concentration and should rely on what relies on your own body, the four altars inside your own body. So, the four kinds of altars for the four kinds of yogas, Kama Yoga, Kriya Yoga, Yoga Tantra, and Highest Yoga Tantra. So, those were the four kinds of altars. So, inside your body, these four kinds of altars can appear. So, Kama Yoga, Kriya Yoga, Yoga Tantra, and Highest Yoga Tantra. And the, in the highest Yoga Tantra, basically there is no altar. And in the development stages of Tantrayana, it was mentioned very clearly how to set up the altar for the Kriya Yoga. And therefore, Kama Yoga, the mandala or altar is simpler. And for Yoga Tantra, is the body mandala that you are in union already. Your body is in union with the altar, and that's called the Yuga Tantra, which is the Yuga of one taste. <coughs> and the highest Yuga Tantra is the altar of the space. So the great master Xuan Zhuang, the last sutra that he got is the same as the space. And in Tantrayana is the highest Yoga Tantra, which is the altar of the space. So that's my explanation. The mind relies on the four altars of the self body. Hmm? So the Kriya Yoga, Kama Yoga, Yoga Tantra, and the highest Yoga Tantra. So elucidating completely with no discrimination and the four bodies. What are the four bodies? We often talk about the three bodies, Dhammakaya, Sambhogakaya and Nimanakaya. And what is the Dhammakaya? The Dhamma body is the same as the space. And Sambhogakaya is the appearance in the Buddha land. So, the Dhammakaya Buddha is the space, and the Sambhogakaya Buddha is wearing half outfit. And Nirmanakaya Buddha is like us. We are wearing uh, outfits, full outfits. <laughs> And in the winter time, we also wear a scarf, but today it's hot. So I'm almost sweating wearing this scarf. So those were the three bodies. But all these three bodies represent wisdom. So four kinds of wisdoms. What, what wisdoms are those? Masters, I am testing you. See, because I don't remember them, so I need to test on you. So who knows? Master Lian Yi again. Wisdom of marvelous observation, wisdom of equal nature. Wisdom, the mirror-like. And that was the, five, the fifth one. And then the wisdom of accomplishment of all actions. There were four kinds of wisdoms, and the same as the four bodies. Dhammakaya, Sambhogakaya, Nirmanakaya, an equal body. And then one more, functional body. So five bodies. But here they talk about four bodies and four kinds of teachers. 
four kinds of gurus. Actually, the masters are divided into four classes. Masters for the uh, Kriya Yoga, the most basic ones, the most basic teachers. And the uh, Kama Yoga, Masters for Kama Yoga, for Yoga Tantra, and for the highest Yoga Tantra. So the highest kind of Masters in, include all four classes, and that would be the highest Vajradhara. So even Masters are classified into four classes. At the first level of Masters, they set up altar and shrine and in the intricate way and complex altars would be set up in order to confer empowerments. Without altars, you cannot confer empowerments or receive empowerments. So that's at the beginning. Masters for the Kriya Yoga, and then Masters for the Karma Yoga, Masters for the Yoga Tantra, and then for the Highest Yoga Tantra. And altogether, if you can comprehend all four levels, then you would be called the great, uh, the great knowledgeable and wise guru or the great Vajradhara. So even masters are di differentiated. But the elucidation is equally because the highest guru equally understand all the four stages. They, they master all four of them. And they are completely equal. So elucidating equally the four bodies and the four kinds of teachers, conferring the four empowerments and teaching the way and the realization. So four empowerments. One is the vase empowerment. This is empowerment vase that looks like a peacock. It's a tantric empowerment base. That's the first level empowerment, which is the base empowerment. And inner empowerment is the empowerment of the red and white bodies to practice the qi channels and light drops. That's the second level empowerment for the red body and white body empowerment. And in Tibet, for the vase empowerment, you use not just water, but also use some herbs. So when you drink the empowerment water, it includes some herbs. So the first vase empowerment, when you place the vase on the master's brow, then the deity that the master invoke is already inside the vase. And then the deity's skin pores open, and then his dharma flow into the water, and then the master confer the empowerment. So grandmaster often do this, place the empowerment vase on the crown, and say, if you want to receive empowerment of Maitreya Bodhisattva, then I visualize Maitreya Bodhisattva inside the empowerment vase, and then his skin pours with it, emit all the dharma into the empowerment water before I confer the empowerment to everybody. And that is the ritual for the vase empowerment. So if you do not reach a spiritual union or have no yogic response, then you would not be called the master. You need to be in spiritual union with the yidam. 
So, in order for you to invoke the deity, you need to be in yogic union with the deity. Otherwise, it's impossible. So, if a master cannot invoke the deity, then it would be like using a water hose and a sprinkler. And then I would just sprinkle on everybody, and that would be the end of the empowerment. So, any masters who have not gained yogic res response with the deity, it would be the same like using water hose on you. But if the masters are dirty, then it is as if they are peeing on your head, as if they are actually throwing something contaminated, something dirty upon you, and they are not single-minded. If they are not single-minded, then it's the same as P empowerment. So just for the most basic base empowerment, you have those requirements. So you need to be able to invoke the Yidam, say Maitreya Bodhisattva, to enter into the empowerment vase. First to the altar, and from the altar to the empowerment vase. And then the Master would use the empowerment vase to confer the empowerment upon you. And then, only that way, you would receive the real vase empowerment. If you have not gained any yogic response with Maitreya Bodhisattva and you confer empowerments, then that would be like what the Chief Secretary Zeng often said, is painting like a bull and a shit. <laughs> It's not a real empowerment, but it's a bullshit empowerment just to cheat people of their money. <coughs> Say, if I invoke Kuan Yin Bodhisattva, the great Bodhisattva with compassion, Kuan Yin, then she entered into the empowerment ways. Oh, how come you gain union so fast? Yeah, because Kuan Yin Bodhisattva is always alongside me, so as soon as I invoke her, she comes directly. Then this would be called real empowerment, otherwise it's just a bullshit empowerment. So Chief Secretary Zeng said, it's like a painting in Taiwanese, it's like tiger and orchids. And actually, in, Chinese, in English, it's bullshit. <laughs> it's very simple. So if you go to the witch, then you're connected to the witch. If it's not this ghost, it would be that ghost. And what you receive is a ghost empowerment. Because she is in union with the ghost. Yeah, but if you're in spiritual union with the Buddhas, with Amitabha Buddha, with the five Vajadharas, then of course you can invoke any deities. Once you are in spiritual union with the Buddhas, then you are also in union with the Bodhisattvas, Prateka Bodhisattvas, and Arhats, the four realms of the sages, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Prateka Buddhas, and Shravakas. And then if you are in union with these four uh, levels of sages, then of course you are in spiritual union with any deities. And this is only for the first level of race empowerment. So if you are not in spiritual union,
then conferring empowerments is just a matter of a ceremony. It's just for show. So you will not be able to perform even the first level of empowerment. <coughs> and the second level empowerment, the inner empowerment, you need the white and red flowers, and the white flower is the white body, and the red flower is the red body. And in ancient time, you need the blood, the menstruation blood of a woman, and the cement of a man, and then combined, you need to eat them to be eaten. That's second level empowerment. But nowadays there's no such empowerment anymore. And then what should you do? <coughs> then you need then you use a red flower and a white flower. And then you treat the red flower as the red body and the white flower as the white body. Body. <coughs> and for this empowerment, you need two things. One is the Yidam, and second is the Buddha. That's for the second level empowerment. And for the third level empowerment, <coughs> is that uh, your body is a mandala or altar. <coughs> and the body mandala, you, need, you use the touch. You use the, a brush as a symbol to touch the deity, the Yidam whichever yidam, and then you use the brush to touch it, touch him. That's the third level empowerment. And the fourth level empowerment, it's the altar, the space altar. There's no ceremonies for this. The fourth level. So empowerments are very important. So conferring the four empowerments and teaching the way and the realization. What is the way and what is the realization? The realization is to let you see. Have you seen the altar? Yes. Giving you the empowerment and the explanation for the first level empowerment, second level empowerment, third level empowerment, and fourth level empowerment. And the way of the fourth level empowerment is the same as enlightenment. To let you gain enlightenment. So in Kagyupa, the four level empowerment is the same as the Mahamudra. I don't know which asshole master <laughs> that said, let me give you the big footstep empowerment. That's wrong. You know, in the <coughs> Dog Chen or Great Perfection of Nyingmapa, Mahamudra of Kagyupa, and Lamde of Sakyapa. And Yamantaka of Kalupa. There is no such thing called the footstep empowerment. So you invented it. Of course, I can invent something like, oh, my middle finger empowerment. <laughs> oh no, that's not a good idea. 
Big thumb empowerment, or second, <laughs> and the point finger, and middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger empowerment. That's invented. You invented that yourself. Then that would be bullshit. Please don't, please don't believe them. So conferring the four empowerments and teaching the way and the realization and teaching the concepts and what you see and the mission of the school is to practice the Dharma to attain the four fruitions on four levels and ultimately is the fruition of Buddhahood and then underneath is the fruition of Bodhisattvahood and then below is the fruition of Prateka Buddhahood, and then the fruition of Shravakahood or Arhatship. That's four fruitions on four levels. Hmm? So that's uh, the four fruitions. So once you gain spiritual union, that's a, a fruition. And second, that you have attainment in your light drop practice, that's a fruition. And that all the channels and the qi inside your body are open and flowing and you can generate light. And you have mandalas inside your body. That's the third fruition. And the fourth fruition is you're the same as the space, as the empty space. You're in union with the space. Those are the four fructions. So the first fruition, spiritual union with the Yida, attainment in the light drop practice, second fruition. The third fruition, is that you have body mandala already. Hmm? At the brow chakra, Vairokana Buddha, at the throat, Amitabha Buddha, at the heart, Akshoba Buddha, at the navel, Ratnasambhava Buddha, at the secret chakra is Akshoba Buddha. I mean, no, 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 Amogasiddhi Buddha, Amogasiddhi Buddha. So the Buddhas are inside your body, and you're the same as the Buddhas. And inside your body, all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Pratika Buddhas, and Sravakas are inside your body. And this is the yoga of one taste. And it's called the body mandala. And that's the third fruition. And the fourth fruition is that your body is like the empty space and you're connected and in union with the whole universe. That's the fourth fruition. So now you're clear with this explanation. So conferring the four empowerments and teaching the way and the realization and the mission is to practice the Dharma to attain the four fruitions on four levels. So you may not have understood uh, without the explanation, but now with my explanation you are very clear about this. Everything has to complement each other. Everything has to complement each other. The four fructions, the four empowerments, the four levels, the four bodies, the four altars, they all complement each other. They all match together very nicely. You can't say that something is unmatched like the jokes that were told before, like the marriage between a huge elephant and a little ant. 
so the ant climb and climbed and climbed and climbed and finally he got to he, she was about to kiss the elephant and with one breath the, the ant is gone and the elephant was mad uh, just to kiss you I have to wait for months for you to come here and then just about to kiss you and you're gone with the blow of the breath so one day the ant climbed and climbed and climbed to the ears of the elephant and the elephant fainted because the ant said I'm pregnant with your child <coughs> so the elephant fainted so finally the elephant and the ant got divorced and the ant was really mad and at the front of the ant's hole she was uh, sticking out her leg and they asked her what are you doing oh because I want to stumble the elephant and the elephant was swimming in the pool and the ant was calling on him happy come on come out of the water and the elephant got out of the water and then the ant said okay go back go back to the water and the elephant got back to the water what are you doing and then the, ele the ant said I just want to check if you were wearing my bikini <laughs> so that's a mismatch if the elephant is married to, to the end but in Tandayana we are talking about a good match so a master of what level should give empowerment to the people on that level if you have not reached that level how can you confer empowerments of that level so you ask yourself have you gained spiritual union say for the base empowerment and second for the inner empowerment the inner empowerment is for the empowerments of the channels light drops and qi that your light drops can drip and the inner fire can arise and then the merging the fusion of the light drops and the inner fire in the heart and you have attainment have you had attainment if you don't and then you confer the second level empowerments then you are against uh, the law of the Dharma and that's a mismatch and on the third level empowerment do you have body mandala that your body speech and mind and and are that those of the Buddhas and inside your body there are Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Prataka Buddhas and Shravakas inside your body and your conduct and behavior, your speech is of one taste. So as soon as you open your mouth, that's mantra, and your body is altar, and your mind is the Buddha. And what you're stepping on is your realms, your realms of your attainment. Have you reached such a realm? in order to be in spiritual union with the space with the universe in order to be able to confer the third level empowerment the empowerment of the highest yoga tantra which is the touch empowerment and in the highest level you are in union with the space with the universe so four levels so that's my elucidation of this verses four altars four bodies four kinds of teachers four empowerments and to let you know 
and realize the way and the mission is to practice the Dharma and ultimately the four fruitions on four levels of money.